Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This video is slightly different than my other ones. I want to address something we all have been dealing with from the dawn of humanity. We all have issues with space, like literally, we need more space both on our streets or in the cafe or on your computer. I know, I feel the pain. This video shows how to free up your space on your boot drive, which is also known as C drive on your Windows machine. As you can see, there is 1.39 GB available. Let's see how far I can go and expand the free space. At the end of the day, who doesn't need extra space? Okay, if you're with me, I'm going to show you 7 different ways to free up your space, some of which you might already know. Oh, one more thing, you should also be an administrator of a machine in order to perform all these methods. Alright, let's get started. First is clearing your files in Prefetch. Alright, this might be a bit more controversial, but after consulting with Microsoft Tech, confirmed that this indeed important to achieve more space. This folder saves all the frequently opened programs. To perform this, right-click on the Windows button, select Run. Then type in prefetch and hit OK or Enter. The command will be in the description, so you can simply copy that command and paste it in your Run dialog box. Alright, select all the files and permanently delete all the files in it. If prompted, check the box to perform the same activity and stop prompting for each file or folder. If you can't be deleted, then skip. I mean, we don't want to delay the core files at the end of the day, right? Alright, second step is temp. Most may already know this. To delete all the temp files, you can open the run dialog box by right-clicking on the start button and hit run and type in temp. Command will be in the description as well. Select all the items and permanently delete all the files and folders. If prompted, check do this for all items and click on try again. If prompts again, click on skip as again, we don't want to delay the Windows files. The third one is percentile temp percentile. The command will be obviously in the description for you. This is just like the other two commands, can be run from the round dialog box. You know how to open it now. Select all items and permanently delete it. Okay, one difference to this command compared to the other ones is that it has to be performed on every profile. What is profile like? Profile is basically different accounts on the computer. There are two ways to find different user accounts on the machine. One is through the settings. Click on the settings and click on account. Then under family and other users, you can see all the other users who has access to this machine. As you can see, Sci Working, which is my primary user account, is visible. My current working account is Sci Vinkatesh, as you can see here. The other way to find the user account is by accessing Control Panel and then open User Accounts, User Accounts again, and click Manage Other Account. This way, you can see all the accounts, including yours. To be honest, there are other methods to find all the user accounts, but thought these two are the easiest for now. Okay, now that said, I'll log into my other account and delete all the contents of my percentile temp percentile folder. Okay, now I'm another user. Delete all the temp files. Perfect. Now, if, since I'm already here, let me delete all the recycle bin. And now, the fourth one is going to be deletion of recycle bin. Everyone knows it, but sometimes we forget it. Deleting a file on the computer just goes to recycle bin, which ultimately f takes up some space on the computer. Okay, now login back to the previous account and delete the recycle bin folders. Perfect. Now the next few steps are a bit more exciting, as you'll free up a lot of space, which you never knew existed. There is a program called Patch Cleaner, which you can download simply by going to Google, in my case, Bing. Once downloaded, run the program and let it scan the root folders. It will provide all the orphan files. In other words, they are the files which are left over by a program when it's uninstalled or updated. Hence, it's completely useless and can be deleted safely. Since it's scanned it, now hit delete. At this stage, you'll be in a state of awe about how much free space you just got. Thank me in the comments by smashing the like and subscribe button. 
The method gave me around 1 GB and I received close to 30 GB by using this program on other computers. Now we're ready to go to the next phase. There is this program called TreeSize which you can download on your browser. This tool doesn't delete files for you but will provide you where all the space is scattered on your machine. It lets you decide what to do with those files and folders which you would never knew existed in the first place. This program lets you scan the root folder, in this case C drive, and gives you a graph of all the disk space distribution. Let me check where all the space has gone. I can delete all the cache files which are no longer used. As you can see, I got 25 GB just by deleting the files I don't need. And now, the other method to free up space is through a utility called Disk Cleanup. Few might already know about this tool. On the bottom left corner of your screen, click on the Windows button and start typing Disk. Click on the first option called Disk Cleanup. Now, select C drive and click OK. Now, click on Clean Up System Files. Then select your C drive again and click OK. Let it do its thing. Now you'll be presented with a disk cleanup window with a checklist. Check all the boxes except downloads. If you're like me who doesn't move stuff from downloads folder, you can also see what folders are occupying how much amount of space. I emphasize you to select delivery optimization files option. That is a special folder in your computer which stores Windows upgrade files and your computer will act as a server to distribute Windows update files. That's a totally different concept. If you want, I can explain you a bit more in the other video. And if you have recently upgraded your Windows 10 machine, say for example, 1803 to 1909, you'll see another option called Windows Update Cleanup. If you have no issues logging onto your computer after update, and if everything seems to be stable, I encourage you to select Windows Update Cleanup option two, and now hit OK. Click on deleted files, and that's it. Done. Now, the final method is called Disk Optimization. Click on Windows button on the bottom left corner and start typing Optimize. Click on the first result, it's called Fragment and Optimize Drives. Select C drive and click on Optimize. Since my C drive is an SSD, my computer will perform a trim command. If you have any other drives, click on that drive and click Optimize. If it's a hard drive, it performs defragmentation. If it's an SSD, it performs trim command. Okay, now you know all the techniques to clean up from space on your SSDs. If I missed any other ways to clean up space, let me know. And if you want me to explain a bit more of anything else I've mentioned here, please let me know in the comments below. If you like it, please like and do subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon for more such amazing videos in the future. Peace.